In this Sailing Doodles, we get picked up by some friends on a powerboat and then do some free diving. And then we get off the mooring and go sailing. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby, Taylor, and Punky as we set sail for the Caribbean in our 1989 CT-56. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. In the previous video, we did a little bit of snorkeling and then Taylor played us a song. Due to the uh, current circumstances right now with the whole pandemic going on, uh, BBI's actually closed uh, down to, to any transient boaters, right? No, just anybody. They're not letting anybody, anybody in or out. So, and then we, we left Puerto Rico because it was shut down as well. So, I mean, we're kind of stuck here in the USVI. We've been anchored in this one spot for, for a little while now, but we're making the most of it. We're meeting up with some friends that are on a mega yacht, and I think we're going to go spearfishing, snorkeling, yep. and uh, kind of get Punky out. Went, Punky went over there yesterday and got a big lobster. Yeah, we're not allowed to spearfish because it's a national park. But uh, we're allowed two lobsters per person per day, so we're gonna try to. You can grab them. You can grab them by hand or with a snare or with a trap, but you cannot spear. She's the lobster anything. queen, so maybe she's gonna <laughs> catch us some dinner tonight. Hopefully, yeah. I mean it's you know. It's, but I don't know how to challenge. cook lobster though, so yeah, someone we're gonna else need a better knife. <laughs> <laughs> the people we're going with, one of them is a chef on a mega yacht, so he's yeah. gonna hook it up. That's what we're yeah. having for lunch, by the way. Lobster from yesterday. Cool. Ooh, really? Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's get ready to go. So this is a nice tender to have. We got Boris and Kirsty. Tony up there. Uh, they're taking us uh, snorkeling and diving and all that today. On this boat were Boris, Christy, and Tony. They were part of a mega yacht crew that we had met the first day checking into the USVI. This was one of the tenders for their mega yacht and they offered to take us around the islands. We only had to make a couple pit stops for stuff flying out of the boat. So this is all national parks here. You're not allowed to anchor. That person's anchored. You're not supposed to be. Uh, but uh, all the moorings are taken everywhere because they're all free right now, so. We were having problems finding an open mooring and a calm spot to do some snorkeling. Eventually we found a pretty good spot and picked up a mooring. Great success. Nicely done. Hey. <laughs> well, you get a little shallower over there, I'm sure. Both Punky and Tony are very good freedivers and can stay down a long time, although on this trip they came up empty handed. Now the funky's here. Tie. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Quarantine. Yeah, quarantine. For social distancing. Not social distancing. Yeah, bad. Yeah, good, man. What a spread. 
so Tony is actually a professional chef on the boat. So. Professional. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got quite the spread here today. That's what they say. They call me. All right, well, that's pretty good here. So the locals have all their speed boats out. I don't know what they're doing. They're doing like a little boat rally. So interesting to see them. There must have been two dozen or more locals out with their boats, and they do this pretty much every weekend. Good time hanging out with them today. It's kind of a treat getting to go around in a powerboat like that. You get to see things so much faster. You get to see so <laughs> much in a day. It's yeah. crazy. We didn't catch anything because there were no lobsters in any. The current was strong and it was murky. murky. So we ended up just having lunch and drinking. We, we ate the lobster you caught yesterday. Yeah, that yeah at, least, at least that was fun. He made yeah. some nice lobster ceviche. Mm. Yeah, he's a good cook. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you. All right. We are getting ready to get out of here today. Uh, we've been on the mooring for a little over a week, maybe. Uh, but we need to go to the marina and get some water, some fuel, uh, do some provisioning, do our have laundry. A pampered, have a pampered day. Yeah, Bye. run the AC whenever we want. So everything's actually shut down right now, um, except for essential businesses, which a marina falls under that. So luckily we'll be able to get some fuel and water and everything we need. So the easy thing about uh, being on a mooring instead of being on anchor, you just let go of the mooring line. So Punky and I will go up there and let the mooring lines go and drive us off. Let's go. We're gonna head that way. And then we'll, uh, should be good enough wind. We can just put the Genoa out. We're not going very far. So it should be a nice, easy downwind sail. As we tried to get off the mooring, our mooring lines actually got wrapped around the ball and made it hard to let go. You can normally prevent this by having the mooring lines nice and tight, but with our dolphin striker out there out front, sometimes it's difficult to do. And then when you drift with the current instead of the wind, the line will wrap around the ball like that. It was nothing that couldn't be fixed, and as soon as we had the lines free, it was time to let them off the mooring. thing we're going to do is clear all the lines. We've done that um, and uh, winds a little bit off our starboard stern so we will uh, put some sails out. All right Taylor whenever you're ready. Let's turn the motor off and do some sailing. All right that's good for now. Good job. All right, we got uh, 14 knots of true wind, nine knots of parent, and uh, we're making five knots. So not bad on just the Genoa. I mean, if we don't even need any more sails out, plus we're almost dead downwind. So any other sail we'd have out would be kind of blocking the Genoa. But uh, it's fine to me. We're only going like eight or nine miles. So perfect. There is a little cut we're going through up here though, that um, uh, there might be a lot of bit of current going through there, so I might turn on the motor as we close, just in case that current does something funky with us. But right now, we're just sailing. Yeah, it's yeah, it's only like, it's pretty narrow here, maybe 50 yards across tops. How deep is it? Uh, we're 19 feet of water right now, below the keel, so 25 feet. This is where we might end up, uh, back here at Christmas Cove. Normally, they have pizza pie there. Well. Is that their flags there? They might still be open, I don't know. All right, so the wind is uh, off our port side just a little bit. It's mostly dead, dead down behind, dead, almost dead down wind. Uh, but we're gonna turn to starboard about 30 degrees. So we need to jibe the Genoa. Uh, we've not tried it on this boat yet because um, it does have, you know, the, the forestay of the uh, the staysail in there. So, or it does have the staysail in the way. So I don't know, we'll see if we can just do it or, or what happens. I don't know, we'll give it a shot. 
good. I don't know how well that's showing up over there, but the boat to our port side, their anchor's hanging just off their bow, uh, pulpit there. Uh, not exactly an ideal thing to do. If that thing were to catch some water and go down, and start smacking against the hull, it'd be a pretty bad thing to do. You couldn't ask for a better place or a better conditions to be sailing.